The next thing we want to learn how to do inside of Adobe Fireworks is learn how to select different kinds of items. And the first tool that we're going to use is our pointer tool. We've used this tool before here. And if I click on that, I can then select any object that's on my page, whether it's a raster image like this photograph, or whether it's a vector image like this square. And I can move it around, do whatever I want with it. You'll notice as I drag things, the alignment grid shows up there. For instance, I'll drag that over just a little bit more. and You'll see that red dotted line is showing me how to line up the left hand edges. If I was to move over this way, you see the guide there shows me how to align the right edge and if I get right in the middle it's going to align the center of those objects for me. So I can move things around with the pointer tool. Now you also have a couple selection tools here that are specially designed to copy items inside of bitmaps. So if I go ahead and select this marquee tool here and drag a box out you'll see I select that center area of this particular bitmap image. I can now go to edit and copy and I've now copied that center section there. So I can now go ahead and I selected my pointer tool there just to go back to it. I can go to edit and paste and it pasted a duplicate of that in the exact same location. So now I can go ahead and point in the center of it and drag it wherever I want. So I copied whatever was in that marquee area there and I can make that go away simply by pressing the escape key. I'm going to click on it and press delete just to delete it and let's try that one more time. I'm going to drag a marquee out so I have that part of the image selected and instead of copying I'm going to select cut and you'll see it removed that area from the image. I can now go to edit and paste. It pastes it in the same location but I can drag it wherever I want. Whoops, need my pointer selection tool there and then I can drag it. You can't ever move or resize things with the marquee tool so you always need to um, have that pointer tool selected. And that's a good habit to get into just clicking on that. And I'm going to go ahead and undo that and I'm going to go ahead and restore that image back to normal. Now these tools only work with bitmap images and this rectangle here is not a bitmap, it's a vector. So if I select this marquee tool and hover over this item here and drag a box out, it will give me that marquee tool. But if I go to edit and copy and then go to edit and paste, it didn't copy and paste what I had selected there, it just actually pasted what was last in the clipboard, which was this bitmap image here. So you can't use, and I just went ahead and deleted that, so you can't use these tools to select vector objects, not even if you select the entire vector like this. Still if you go to edit and copy or edit and cut, nothing will happen. And when you select paste, it'll simply paste in whatever the last item that was in the clipboard. And again, in this case, it was that center of that bitmap graphic. You also have a lasso here that will allow you to select irregular shapes. And this is really useful for um, taking the foreground out of the background of an image. For instance, you may want to take a person out of a photograph and put them somewhere else. But really quickly, I'll just select that lasso and you can see how I can whoops, very easily draw an irregular shape around just that area there and then edit copy, edit paste, and now I just have, whoops, got to go back to my pointer tool, I always forget to do that. Now I just have that center piece there. Always remember to go back to your center or to your selection tool before you try and drag something there. That can be a hard habit to get into. So those are a few of the selection tools that are available to you. Now if you're dealing with vectors, again, you just use your regular pointer tool and select and move them wherever you want, or you could resize them by pointing at their corner points. You can see how easily I can do um, that. If I come in here to some other vector objects, you can see I can select, there's the sail there, the other sail, the hull of the boat. 
I can select the red parts of this life preserver or the rings of the life preserver. So the selection tool or the pointer tool allows me to select items within vectors. For example, I could go ahead and click on that red piece right there and press delete and it's now gone. I'll undo that and it's back. And this vector is actually a collection of objects. It's a collection of an outer and an inner circle and then these four colored in um, shapes right there. This um, rectangle here, the square, is just one vector object so I can't actually take that apart. In another video we're going to go ahead and look at the grouping and ungrouping tools and see how we can work with those with vector objects to uh, um, help us keep things um, in line. So those are the selection tools inside of Fireworks. We'll see you in the next video.